Hi, I'm Michael Santos with Prism Professors, and I'm really enthusiastic to be sharing with you some of the new tools we received today from B&H Auto Supply. I don't know if you can see these, but it's a great store in New York that sells incredible audio video equipment. And we invested in this, this uh, product so that we could make more high quality videos. Now, of course, I have to learn how to use all of this technology, but this is a great little machine that's going to allow me to make uh, multi-camera shots without having to edit too much. So I've got a camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, and if I'm pushing one of these, I've got these four HDMI inputs. Those HDMI inputs are what allows a camera like the one I'm filming on right now, a Canon 90D, to uh, feed into here but I can also allow my computer to feed in here. I can allow the television to feed in here. I, if I'm going to be interviewing a guest, I can have him feed, feeding in here. And what it really does is it allows me to operate more efficiently. So I'm really looking forward to wiring this up and learning how to master it. To help, I also bought this brand new MacBook Pro. Now we have so many Apple products here, but I know that most of the people that are watching our program at Prison Professors are in prison and they've never seen how this package opens. I've got my wife in the background there. I'm gonna ask her, could you pass me one of those steak knives behind you? Because I'm gonna, I am going to I wanna show our, the people in our audience just how beautiful Apple does in packaging its products. It's really quite a work of art. So I'm just gonna take this knife here to open the cellophane packaging. And there it's opening now. And, and if you're in prison, I can tell you, I, bu I started buying Macintosh computers or iMac computers right when I got out of prison. And the reason I did that is because when I went to prison in 1987, you know, computers were not such a normal part of our lives at that point. And I had to learn everything I could in a really quick, period of time. So when I was interviewing people in prison, I used to ask, which computer is the easiest to use? Uh, Apple Mac system or the uh, system that's used as called a personal computer or manufactured by Hewlett Packard and Dell and yeah, all these other uh, manufacturers that use primarily a Microsoft Windows operating system. Well, everybody I spoke to said that Mac is easier to learn and that's why I chose Mac. And since I've come home, since I got out of prison in 2013, I think I have no idea how many Macs I've bought. This is supposed to be a super powerful one, but you can just tell the quality even by the packaging, right? It's an incredibly heavy box. Um, I'll pass it to my wife to help me get it out of the way. And then here is the computer itself, and it is really heavy. That's one thing I can tell you right now. It's much heavier than my other Mac uh, uh, MacBook but it's, it's supposed to be super fast, next level fast. Um, my trusty partner, Tulio, who was also formerly incarcerated, recommended that I purchase this machine to be producing more high quality videos that, are, that, are, that take a long time to, to operate and, and, and manufacture. So let me pass these boxes to my wife so that she can get them out of the shot. And we'll kind of explore this together, all of the different tools that I'm going to be using. Inside the box itself, you'll see that it has not really, I wouldn't call this a operating instruction because this is a very powerful machine, but it does have some little decals and so on. And then this very heavy brick of a charging station. And this charging station, you've got to plug it into the wall. And then on the back side of it, it has a different type of a, of a um, cord from my current Mac instead of the, and that's one of the things that Mac always does when it comes up with something new, it's always gonna have a brand new cord and these cords go for about a hundred bucks. So if you lose it or if you wanna have a second charger, it's quite expensive. I don't have the issue with this one because I will be using this stationary for one purpose and one purpose only and that's going to be to um, create more videos to, to help people in jail and prison understand the importance of preparing for success. So now I've got this beautiful packaging and box out of the way. I'll give that to my wife as well. And I'll kind of go through the computer and show you what 
you can expect. So once you plug it in, you'll know, once you take it out of the box, you'll notice that this one is different from the other Mac in that it has these different ports. One of them is the charging port. You see, this is how I get juice from it. Um, do we have a plug on this? Yes, we do. So I can actually plug it in and show you what it looks like right here. You gotta plug one side in here and then this cord snaps into place right here. So there, and you'll see the light change. I don't know if you can see, but the light changes there and it's starting to charge. And then I can open the MacBook Pro up like this and it will start powering up as a Mac fast. So it's starting to power up. I'm gonna have to load all of this up. So that's gonna take some time because I've got to use the Apple iCloud where all of my apps are stored and contacts are stored and other information is stored. So while I'm doing that, um, you can see just how cool it is. You're just getting started and it's going to offer me some you know, information. But I wanna go over some of the ports as well besides the, the charging port. So these ports here, are for you well it's called a USB-C drive to plug in things like a hard drive like this this is an adapter and then it's got a headphone jack the round one and then on the other side which is much nicer than the old one it has a HDMI cord it has a cord for a uh, a film card so I would be able to process audio or video cards right here now in order to be make myself more efficient I also purchased some of these adapters. And with Apples and all computers, you have to be prepared to not only buy the computer, but also buy a lot of adapters. And I know my wife is probably upset with me right now for using her fancy steak knives to open boxes, but that's part of the journey of being married to a formerly incarcerated guy. We just take tools and use them as we go. So, so I can open this up and I'll see I have an adapter. And this adapter, what it will do, is it will allow me to plug numerous products into this Mac and just be a little bit more efficient because I've got two USB cords here, a Thunderbolt cord, um, I, I, and what's called an, I don't know, I think it's called an Ethernet. I sometimes say Ethernet, I'm always corrected. Um, it's got another card reader, so I can be more efficient. And this would plug in right here into the side of the Mac. Boom, here, or maybe it's here. Um, yeah, here, and now I can plug additional additional plugs in here. So when I get this all set up, I will be using things like these HDMI cords. And these HDMI cords, what they do is they will allow me to plug right into the television or into another computer area. So I just unplug them here, and I'm just gonna kind of show you how all of this will work um, because I know that while you're in prison, you don't always have an opportunity to see this. So it's tools like these that I use to create... Use English as the main language. Oh, my Mac is talking to me. <laughs> to create um, videos, to create audio files, to create books, to create all of, the, all of the resources that help me build a business, that help me connect with people in jail and prison. And I just wanted you to see that once I get all of this set up, and I'll have it all set up by Tuesday because I've got some pretty extensive wiring to do to make it work, we will be able to create many more videos. So you see one of these, one of these plugs, this is an HDMI plug. I didn't even know what any of this meant when I got out of prison. But I would plug in one of these here to the back of this ATM Mini, and the other one into this part here, and that means this now will com control this computer, whatever I show on the video. So I'm really enthusiastic to share this with you. I hope that you see some, uh, some, some more improved content that we create, our team creates, because we're always striving to help people in jail and prison understand, make decisions today that will make things easier for you to acclimate when you come back to society. Everything you see me doing right now is predicated on all of the work that I did 
while I was serving 26 years in prison. I always saw myself as being able to come back to society, build uh, assets that can not only sustain my life, but have a great impact on hundreds of thousands or millions of people. Um, this is the way that I can kind of live up to the mantra of be the change that you want to see in the world. It's what I learned from mentors. It's what I hope you see me doing every single day. My name is Michael Santos, and on behalf of our entire team at Prison Professors, I want to thank you for being a part of our community. I want to encourage you to work through all of the lessons that you see us producing. And it's my hope that when you get out of prison, you come out strong with your dignity intact and with opportunities to thrive. Thanks for being a part of our community.